Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. Our next cartridge we're going to explore is going to be the Disney's Dream Come True. This one is uh, a little different to do than the, the one I showed you before, how it has the second image. This only has the one image and then it has extra images on the with the icon button. Uh, the one that we're going to cut today will be uh, the Ariel. It's on page 30 and it is on row 1 number 3. As you can see how I have it marked. And we're going to do the Ariel first and then I'm going to show you how to do the rock that she sits on. Uh, this one I'm going to cut at 4 inches. So it's big enough to see. Uh, just as before, you're going to start off with cutting your first one. With you're not going to hit anything, any of the uh, the extra keys. You're just going to hit uh, the the key for her, which is for, uh, row one number three. Okay. First, we're going to load our paper. Uh, the first cut is going to be the black, the very first one. And as I said, it is row one up here, number three. One, two, three. And set it four inches and cut. Now, our next cut will be the in the uh, first layers button and we're not going to hit shift the first one we're just going to hit is layers and then we're going to hit our number row one number three to cut the uh, flesh tone so we're going to bring our blade down to our mat I like to make for sure they're down real good and we're going to hit we're going to hit the first layers then row one number three and cut you're not going to touch anything else as far as the size leave everything alone next we're going to cut her hair Okay, her hair is in the layers, but this time we're going to keep it set at layers, the first layers, and we're going to hit the shift key and then the one three. So we're hitting the shift, row one, number three, and cut. Okay, now we're going to bring our blade down to our next one. And our next one is going to be in the second layers, which is the outfit. Uh, this one, we're just going to hit the second layers button and then hit one three. And I'm cutting that in green. The second layers, row one, number three, and hit cut. Okay, now our next one, we're going to move on down to our third layers. And our first one is going to be the whites of her eyes. So uh, we're going to bring our blade to our white. And we're going to hit our third layers, row one, number three. Okay, then our last piece for her is the same one, the third layers, and it's the shift for the blue part of her eyes. So let's get our mat back to the blue. And we're going to 
leave it set at the third layers. We're going to hit the shift and one, row one, number three, and cut. Okay, those are all our pieces that we need for Ariel. Let's unload our mat. Okay, now we're going to put Ariel together. We have our main piece that we're going to attach everything to. And then I just leave all of my little pieces on my board because uh, they're so intricate, I don't want to lose any of the pieces. And then I'll usually use a... Um, uh, an exacto knife or something to pick it up and put my pieces on. Uh, and what I'm going to start off with is the her hair because that's the biggest part. And also when you're cutting out the, the fine pieces, the, the really detailed pieces, uh, I suggest that you make for sure you have your blade set just right. Give it, a, you know, give it a test cut, and also make sure that you have a nice sharp um, blade and a nice sticky mat in there so that all of your pieces will cut out right. We're going to start off with the biggest part of her hair, and we're going to attach that. The camera is showing it in orange, but it's red. And as you can see how it had to cut all of the little tiny parts out, that's why you need to use a nice sharp, sharp blade and a nice sticky mat, or it's just not going to work out right. Okay, put your first piece on, and you can see, you can just follow it by the detailed lines. Okay. Now we need this last piece of hair. As you can see, she has hair coming out right down there. I'm going to put that on. Okay, now just place that on. And this is when I'll use my knife and stuff to get it right in the exact place where it needs to be. Okay, and let's place her face on. Make sure all of her little pieces, like the part at her nose, is punched out. Okay, let's get her arms on. Okay, let's get her other arm on. Okay, now we have her lips.
Okay, now we'll put our clothes on. And I'm just going to put a little dab right in the middle of the section where it goes. Just smooth it out. And another little piece right here. And now for her eyes. Let's do the whites first. And let's put the little curve of the blue in. Turn it so I can see it. Now let's get our other eye done. Now let's put the little blue on top of that one. The blue goes right over the edge of the white. Okay, and there we have her. And that's the Ariel done at the four inches. Now we're going to do the rock and I... Okay, the next part I'm going to show you where this one differs from the other cartridge where when you saw the, 
the two images. There was one up here and one over here. And this one it was your main one and then this one was your shift. Well, they have this one in a box. That means this one doesn't have the shift function. This one has an icon function. So the icon for the rock to make the rock that she's laying on is over here in the icon section right here and you're just gonna hit your icon button to hit the background the base then you're gonna hit your shift uh, with the icon button still pushed to get the overlay and it's still gonna be on the same uh, Ariel button number uh, row one number three and I'm going to cut this one because I want it to be a little bit smaller at three and a half okay I'm going to hit I'm going to hit my icon key I'm cutting this at three and a half inches I'm going to hit row one number three and hit cut. Now I'm going to do the overlay for that one and I'm going to load my paper again and I'm going to keep the icon key on but this time I'm going to hit the shift row one number three and cut. Okay this this was my base one. This was my overlay and it cut out two pieces. And all we're going to do is we're going to glue this one down right on top of our overlay which the darker color gives us a shadow. And then we're going to glue the star, center it the way it cut out. It cut out so it can have a little edge in there. And let's glue this down. Okay, and then the way that this goes, Ariel is like up on the rocks looking out to the shore. So let's just put some glue on the bottom half of her. Now you don't have to put her on the rock. You can leave the rock off if you want to. There she is. Then I like to take my stickles once again. And I think I'm going to stickles her, uh, her little outfit she has on. Maybe her lips. Throw some on the rock. I'll put that on the star in the middle. Then I'm going to go in with these highlighted areas. even the highlight on her hair. Okay. And that's our completed project for the first, for the, uh, dreams come true cartridge. Remember how on the other cartridge we had to hit the shift to get the second item. 
on this one on this cartridge it's in the icon key you don't have to uh, hit the shift to get the second item when you hit the shift you're going to get other parts of the main character okay hope this helps thank you very much for watching my video bye